future of the MBTA. Today, the agency laid out plans to make major cuts to the commuter rail, the bus routes, and the green line. The T at this point needs to make up $130 million. Nothing is set in stone at this point, but riders are already protesting, as WBZ's Jim Smith shows us. Like just about everything else, the MBTA has taken a devastating financial hit thanks to the COVID crisis. Now, they're proposing huge budget cuts. None of us can afford to have these cuts. Riders against those cuts are organizing big time, bringing a visual aid to the MBTA board meeting. A giant pair of scissors slicing a bus in half. Some say reducing service prevents social distancing, putting riders in jeopardy. Service cuts put us in danger because then there's less service and people have to get on buses and trains and it creates crowding. We can't afford to lose another resident of our community. The proposed cuts would be painful. No commuter rail after 9 p.m. No weekend commuter rail. Subway and bus service would also be impacted and ferry service would stop. Critics say there could be an economic cost to the region. Massachusetts will be at a competitive disadvantage if we are perceived as a place where you must own a car in order to be able to live and work. I have already been hearing from business leaders in my region about their concerns regarding hiring young talent because of those constraints. In a virtual meeting, the T-Board took plenty of testimony against the cuts. They also indicated there will be 10 more public meetings online. The T says no fares will be increased, but many believe the cuts will really hit riders who can't afford it. These communities are largely low-income immigrant and people of color who need transit to stay afloat and who continue to rely on transit during this pandemic. In Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Well, we're not alone in this. 18 states have canceled or postponed transportation projects valued at nearly $11 billion. That includes delayed terminal expansions and renovations at airports in Tampa, San Francisco, Austin, Texas, New York, and North Carolina.